hey guys in today's video i'll be showing you how to install android on a pc using virtualbox so if you want to try out, try out android on a pc this is the best way to do it so in the links in the description there's one which should take you to this site here okay for you to download the iso image so you can just click on this second link here just click on that which will take you which will take you to this site right here okay so here you just want to go where it says android 9 this one revision 2 like that which has the iso which is this one here with iso there so you want to click on that and that should start your download so if you go on your downloads you should see it pop up just now as you can see there okay so i'll pause this since i already have the system okay i'll just pause that but you can download this and let it finish once it downloads we can go to virtualbox and do the actual installation so once you have your iso image downloaded okay so as you can see i have my iso image right here okay so after i have that downloaded you just want to come to virtualbox here okay so you just want to go i say is create new click on new then here we can just specify the name of the virtual machine we're going to create so i'll just name it android 9 okay then here where it says type okay click there and choose linux okay then you want to click where it says version scroll all the way down and go with other linux 64 bit like that then press next so here you want to set the ram that the android machine will be using so i recommend at least 2 gb okay so which is like that okay then i'll go with next then here you want to go with the way it is as default create virtual disk like that say create okay even here where it says hard drive file type just click next okay so we want to set it to dynamically allocated say next then here you can give it uh, depending on the specs that you have in terms of storage on your pc you can give it how many gbs you want so for me i'll just say no, let me just do so for this test purpose i'll just do 16 oh and you can also just double click there to type in what you want to put so i can just put 32 for example okay then i can press create okay so that has created the actual virtual machine but we, have, no, we are not yet done so you want to click on the virtual machine you've just created go to settings so once it brings up the settings tab you want to go to system then under system here you can just untick this floppy disk is fine so under processors here you want to click processors and at least give it two okay but you don't want to give it one to be on the safe side just give it two then under acceleration here you want to click that and choose kvm since that's a interface that we're going to be using okay then under display just make sure that where it says video memory just make that max that out which is fine and here under graphics controller click there and you want to choose this virtual box svga okay so now once you do that okay you want to go to storage okay so here under storage where it says empty you want to click that and click on this blue disk and then you want to say choose a disk disk file like that okay so now it's in already my folder here where it says systems so now i can scroll here and choose the android that i'm having okay so i've chosen my android file just there okay so now i can press ok then we can click on it and say start okay so i'll minimize this it should pop up anytime from now okay which we'll say it just now okay so as you can see it has just popped up okay so just leave it okay this is what you should see okay let me make this big this is what you should see so you want to go down and where it says advanced options click press enter then you want to scroll you want to go down again where it says 
auto installation okay which is the fourth option press enter so now it will install and extract all the files that it needs to install your system okay so as you can see here we have chosen an auto installation just say yes okay using the arrow keys to go to the left then press yes okay so that will do everything that it needs to to do so just give it some time so once it installs and extracts everything you should see in the next step that we are going to look at so here just give it some time to just finish up its extraction okay so now on this one you as you can see saying android is successfully installed so you want to just press enter there just press ok ok just leave it and then this might take a bit of some time as well just give it some time it should start very soon ok so as you can see we have the android logo there so it's about to start um, we're about to get the setup wizard and this setup wizard is something that you guys have seen before if you have bought a new phone before this is just a normal setup you would also do on this same machine that we're going to that we're working on so once it loads you will see the same setup wizard you'd see on a phone itself so don't worry that no it's not working just give it some time this process takes a bit of some time so just give it some time to finish what it's doing okay and there you have it guys so as you can see now we have our setup wizard here so as i said this is just the same thing the way you do it on a phone that's the way you do it here so here it says english i can just go with the same one united states press start okay so as you can see just a second it's just trying to connect to like wi-fi like a network so if it finds a network it will connect to it so i can i can select that so you can select this one let me close that yeah so i can go with that one where it says connecting okay it's connected okay so here i'll just go with the uh, setup as new okay we want to set it up as a new as a new device yeah so go with setup as new so there you can also use the uh, arrow keys to select the bottom one and right now it's just loading okay so here it will ask you to put in your google account you just want to go with skip so you can use the arrow keys to go down so here if you can type in your google account to see to set it up for you so if i put in my gmail okay so once i'm logged in now as you can see you can just go with agree you can also use the arrow keys to navigate there if you can't manage to use the mouse so right now i'm just using tab so now yeah so once you set up so it will just install your desktop so as you can see i can just go with the same launcher 3 press enter there uh, just go with the one which says always or press enter so now as you can see it is just setting up our desktop now so you should have all your icons and everything on the system there you go here you have your android now fully functional so you can now start using it okay so now once android is installed as you can see it is even downloading updates now so once you are done just let it leave it to if it's updating let it update but otherwise this is how you install android on pc so if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of my future uploads